Hello friends, a very warm welcome to the Crochet Hook channel. See, today we are going to work this flower again. You remember this flower rakhi that we worked together? Because a few friends facing difficulty in understanding the stitches, I'm here again posting the same flower one more time. And here what I have done is I'll be working it in two colors. So hopefully uh, with the rounds worked in two colors, stitches will be more clearly visible and more easily understood. And here I have just decorated it for your sake with the with the beads as usual. You can add your kind of decoration. Add the dory to the rakhi and decoration. You can also go through the old video of mine. Please find the link of the old rakhi that I worked the same way here. And there you can watch how to add the decoration to the rakhi and how to work the beautiful dory for the rakhi, the beaded dory for the rakhi. I have shared the link of the old rakhi here as well and also in the description box you can find the link for the same and uh, work the rakhi the same way so let's get ahead and work this absolutely beautiful flower together for the friends who are joining me here for the first time please do consider subscribing to the channel that really really motivates that inspires that keeps us connected you get a notification each time i post on my channel and that really helps our channel grow our community grow also please do join me on pinterest instagram and facebook please follow me there that's such a sweet gesture i have already shared the links for my pinterest instagram and facebook on my channel and also in the description box so let's get connected in all those platforms as well so let's work this beautiful rakhi together one more time so here again i have chosen this hobby india crochet thread to crochet our beautiful flowers for the rakhi and i'll be crocheting it with a crochet hook of 2.0 millimeters you will also need a sewing needle with a big eye to sew in the loose ends a pair of scissors so let's get started so here i'll be creating this flower with two colors for the sake of simplicity and understanding you can work it either in two colors or in a single color as we did it here so i'll be working the initial rounds with a different color and the petal rounds with a different color for the sake of uh, visibility of stitches and clarity so here to begin with we'll first work a slip knot see this is the non-working end and this is the working end which is attached to the skein now Fold the working end gently onto the non-working end like this. A loop is worked. Hold this loop with your middle finger and thumb and the rest of the yarn as if you're going to crochet. Right then here, insert the hook through this loop. Gently draw up the yarn through it like this. Tighten it up. Your slip knot is worked. Now here, work six chains. One, two, three, four five and six then insert the hook into the very first chain like this draw up a loop through both the loops on hook one slip stitch is worked and see a magic ring here is created now we'll be working into this magic ring so then we begin with the first round of our rakhi or flower work one chain then insert the hook at the center of this magic ring draw up a loop we have two loops on the hook yarn over Pull through both the loops one single crochet is worked again insert the hook at the center of this ring drop a loop again we have two loops on the hook yarn over pull through both the loops one more single crochet is worked again insert the hook at the center of the ring drop a loop yarn over pull through both the loops one more single crochet is worked just like this keep working a total of 18 single crochets three already done keep counting and keep working till you have a total of 18 single crochets and we'll join the round together see here i have worked all my 18 single crochets now be careful not into the chain one the beginning chain one but beneath the two loops of the first single crochet insert the hook drop a loop work one slip stitch to join this round here now let's begin with the round two so here then work one chain and into the same stitch insert the hook drop a loop and work one single crochet here right then work three chains one two and three now here skip two single crochets below one and two and into the third single crochet work one single crochet like this three chain and one single crochet is the pattern repeat we have to repeat all the way around five more times again work three chains one two and three again skip two single crochets below one and two and out of the third single crochet work one single crochet chain three again skip two one and two into the third one work one single crochet 
see here we are creating loops for our flower petals right again work three chains one two and three skip two single crochets ahead one and two and on top the third one work one single crochet chain three again one two and three again skip two single crochets and on top the third single crochet ahead work one single crochet see here we have uh, one two three four and five loops done just one more loop to go then work three chains again one two and three and here we just have two single crochets left and into the single crochet into this beginning single crochet beneath the two loops of the single crochet is at the hook drop a loop work one slip stitch to join it here we have created loops for our petals of the flower now here i'm changing the shade so i'm going to put a knot and cut the thread and if you wish you can continue working with the same shade and don't change the shade for the sake of visibility and clarity i'm removing this thread and adding a new color here right if you too wish to work it in two colors you can work it like me here see we have this loose end on the back side very gently grabbing the thick stitches i'm going to very neatly sew this loose end in that not only makes our project clean looks wise but it also gives a certain stability to the project so here i'm adding this new color i'm not using any stitch markers as i'm already using two colors so i hope that it will be visible clearly so then work a slip knot with this new color if at all you have changed the color and uh, see into any of the single crochets in the round two here bring in the new shade like this through it then here work two chains one and two pull that loop up now here we are moving backwards we have this chain loop here and uh, beneath this chain loop we have this single crochet round see having pulled up this loop we if we see beneath this chain three we have two single crochets in the round one so if you are going for first single crochet in every petal you go for the first single crochet if you're going for the second single crochet then in every petal you will have to go for the second sim single crochet that will keep your petals well arranged in symmetry right so here i'm inserting my hook into the first single crochet here like this and keeping the chain three on the back side of this hook then grab this loop and bring it through this right and nextly we have this chain three here right into this chain three we are going to create a petal so yarn over and around this chain three work a double crochet yarn over pull through the chain three we have three loops on the hook yarn over pull through first two loops then yarn over pull through the remaining two loops one double crochet is worth likewise we are going to work a total of 12 double crochets one already done so yarn over again into this chain three around it work a double crochet the same way two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven and twelve see this is what we have created we have cre created a petal here and then just be watchful we have this single crochet here in the round below after this petal we have, we have a single crochet then we have this next chain to loop we are aiming to work around this next single crochet after the next chain three so so grab the loop and after this next chain three ahead we have this single crochet here we have this single crochet here around the single crochet insert the hook from back to front to back like this drop a loop take it to the back side 
we have two loops on the hook yarn over pull through both the loops one back post single crochet is worked right so one pedal is done now here then work four chains one two three and four and be watchful from here we are going to work the second pedal for the second pedal we'll again draw this loop till here and begin our second petal from here till here so what we need to do we have to move backwards to the old petal and at the bottom of this petal here we have two single crochets and we aimed for the first one so like that insert the hook keeping the petal on the back in the single crochet round right grab the loop pull it through it like this right now here you can clearly see we have to work in the next chain 3 for the next petal. This is your chain 4 that we have worked with the blue color but this is the chain 3. The very next chain 3 into which we will create our petal. So then yarn over and around this chain 3. If you grab it once clearly it is visible see. Around this chain 3 work 12 double crochets. 1. Hold it like this and it is very easy to work two three four five six seven eight nine ten 11 and 12 see we have created one more petal the same way right and then just remember each time you create 12 double crochets for a petal we have to work a back post single crochet where after the next chain 3 around the SC after the next chain 3 right so once you have done the petal just skip this next chain 3 loop and after that grab that single crochet from back to front to back like this drop a loop take it onto the back side and work it like one single crochet one back post single crochet is worked here right now again we'll create chain four and join it here at the center of this previous petal that we just worked right so then here work four chains one two three four so after you work on back post single crochet remember to work four chains and pull that loop because we're going to join it at the center of this previous petal that's just worked right so here hold it like this and into this first single crochet insert the hook keeping the petal on the back and draw the loop through it again it's very clear see this is your chain four in blue color that's visible and here a little subdued is your chain three next to it just pull that chain three up just pull that chain 3 up like this so it's visible to you and into this chain 3 we're going to work a petal so fold it all like this yarn over and around this chain 3 work 12 double crochets 1 2 3 4 five six seven eight nine ten eleven and twelve right again we have created a petal here straighten it all up see how beautiful it's coming up so neat and clean even with two colors it's neat and clean right then as i told you after having worked 12 double crochets for a petal just skip the next chain three and after that aim at this single crochet so then insert the hook from back to front to back around the single crochet draw up a loop Take it onto the back side and work it like one single crochet. One back post single crochet has worked and we have our three petals worked here. Three more to go, right? Then here again, after we work the back post single crochet, we work four chains. That will again come and join here at the center of this 
just worked better right so then work four chains one two three and four pull that loop and into this petal the current petal at the center here because we are aiming towards the right side single crochet keeping the petal on the back draw this loop through it like this and again here see this is the chain four that you just worked and this is your chain three that got a little under this chain four so if it is the same color yarn it gets a little tricky but it's still very clearly visible if you look for it so have that watch and you will get to you can very easily get to see that once you understand where it lies so then hold it all like this you just insert your hook like this and you can see the chain three into this around this chain three you have to work right so then fold it like this yarn over around this chain three insert the hook you can see a clear space for a petal and into this space we have to work 12 double crochets one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven and twelve again we have worked twelve double crochets fourth petal is worked now stretch it all up like this so you can see clearly where everything is see nextly we have this chain three that we have to skip and around this single crochet will work a back post single crochet so grab the loop we want to work one back post single crochet so around, after the next chain three around this single crochet here work one back post single crochet tightly like this then work four chains one two three and four pull that loop and this time into this current petal in the single crochet round we are grabbing the right side single crochet keeping this uh, petal on the back side grab the stretched up loop bring it through this space here right and let's have a clear view of our chain three see this is our chain three here into which will work our petal right so just fold it all like this yarn over and insert the hook around this chain three and here you have to work the next petal so then work 12 double crochets one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven and twelve right so here the fifth pedal is created as well and then having worked this see we have a next chain three here on the back side as you can see this next chain three here is a single crochet at the beginning of this first petal around which we have to work our back post single crochet like this right and now work four chains one two three and four pull that loop and again see this is our chain three all embedded into this between these two petals this is our chain three so then first we'll move backwards towards the previous petal and into this first single crochet keeping the petal on the back grab the loop pull it through and you can very clearly see this chain three here it is around this chain three we have to work our next petal so yarn over and around this chain three work 12 double crochets one two three four five six 
seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Make sure that you insert your hook into the same direction so that you're grabbing the right chain three loop on the back side, right? So here is our sixth pedal worked. Now, again, we need to slip this time. And so into the first chain three, we had worked this pedal already. And after this chain three, we have this single crochet. And so here our six petals get completed so beautifully. And we want to slip stitch this time. And we want to grab the single crochet after the next chain three. So the next chain three is this chain three into which we have worked our first petal, right? So then after this petal here on the back side, if you see, this is the single crochet. So around the single crochet, simply insert the hook, drop a loop and work one slip stitch to join it here. A flower is well worked and well joined on the back here. Put a knot, a little tight one, cut the thread leaving a little tail, tighten the knot well and sew this loose end on the back side here the back side of the flower here and we have our beautiful six petal flower ready so here our beautiful rakhi gets ready i absolutely loved working these vibrant rakhis with you i hope this video was clear enough to understand the stitches have fun learning have fun crochet see you next time